Today we listen to how Jesus is present in our conversations with others and how he can be called to help us in times of difficulty when dealing with people. We read in paragraphs 1492 to 1495. Before Holy Communion, Jesus gave me to understand that I should pay absolutely no attention to what his certain sister would say, because her cunning and malice were displeasing to him. My daughter, do not speak to this person about either your views or your opinions. I beg the Lord's pardon for what in that soul was displeasing to him, and I begged him to strengthen me with his grace when she would come to talk with me again. She has asked me about many things to which I gave answers with all my sisterly love and, as evidence that I have spoken to her from the bottom of my heart, I have told her some things that came from my own experience. But her intentions were something quite different from the words on her lips. O oh my Jesus, from the moment I gave myself completely to you, I have given no thought whatsoever for myself. You may do with me whatever you like. There is only one thing I think about, that is, what do you prefer? What can I do, O oh Lord, to please you? I listen and watch for each opportunity. It matters not if I am outwardly judged otherwise in this matter. Today, when the sister about whom the Lord warned me came to see me, I armed myself spiritually for battle. Although it cost me much, I did not depart one bit from what the Lord had commanded. But when an hour had gone by and the sister made no move to go, I interiorly called upon Jesus to help. Then I heard a voice in my soul saying, Do not fear, I am watching you this very moment and am helping you. In a moment, I will send you two sisters who are coming to visit you, and then you will find it easy to continue the conversation. And at that moment, two sisters entered, and then the conversation was much easier, even though it lasted for still another half hour. Oh, how good it is to call on Jesus for help during a conversation. Oh, how good it is during a moment of peace to beg for actual graces. I fear most of all this sort of confidential conversation. There is need for much divine light at times like this in order to speak with profit both for the other person's soul and for one's own as well. God, however, comes to our aid, but we have to ask him for it. Let no one trust too much in his own self.